Hey, and welcome to the channel. It's the Jet Experience, and we're back at Disneyland. There's Declan down there. So we're gonna check out Downtown Disney a little bit, see what's changed, really what we're here to do, as well as a uh, dining review of Naples Restaurant, which outdoor dining has resumed now in many parts of California. Uh, before I get too far into it, you know, please give us a like down below, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell below, you get notifications of all the future videos. And then something that's new and exciting coming up is right behind me. If you've been to Disneyland before, you'll recognize it as the Rainforest Cafe. If you're not familiar with where it is, I'll turn around real quick. And there's Earl of Sandwich right behind it. What this is going to be behind me opening in just a couple weeks, it's going to be the new Star Wars Trading Post, which is located at Wonderground right now, a little further down, down, down along downtown Disney but it's gonna be opening officially on February 19th, which is two Fridays from now. But on February 17th, it'll be a special preview night for Legacy Pass holders. Come along and join us on this experience. So you can already see some of the decorations starting to pop up, kind of like some, some transmitters. You can see, let me zoom in a little bit here. You can kind of see what looks like some electronic type looking panels coming up. And it's supposed to, what it's generally supposed to be is like a, it's a rebel base that's hidden in the jungle. Um, and then we'll, I, you know, as soon as it opens, we're gonna try to come on the uh, preview night. If not, we'll get here as soon as we can thereafter to be able to film inside and see what that's gonna look like. And then so far right up on the entrance, or right in front of the entrance, is Ray's speeder, which they've got on display right now. They've got saying, please keep off the stage, even though it's kind of more a bench. But it's very, very cool right now. So as mentioned, here is the current Star Wars trading post, which, uh, you know, we, we get the footage previous videos of the art gallery they had in there. So they're gonna be upgrading from that very small space over to a very, very large space. So that's very exciting, I cannot wait for that. And here we are coming up on Naples where if you're not super familiar with the layout of Downtown Disney, it's basically right across from the main entrance of World of Disney. We have actually never eaten here before. We made re uh, reservations the other day before coming just to make sure we could get in in case they you know, were at capacity when we got here. But as I walk along, we can see, yeah, there's quite a few people around and eating. So this should be a nice little experience. All right, we just got seated and they have, uh, it's a touchless menu system. So you just scan the QR code and bring up the menu on the phone. And then we're under an umbrella. You can see the red here. That's actually a heat lamp. Uh, so I did bring a sweatshirt and we all wore jackets just in case, but it's actually pretty warm right under the uh, umbrella right here. And so some of the rules um, that she just gave us, I mean, it was really only one rule, is uh, besides she told us about the touchless uh, menu, touchless menu, and they said they do ask that masks stay on unless actively eating or drinking. No problem with that at all. We're gonna go ahead and order. Uh, be back momentarily just to let you know what we ordered and then uh, we'll give a good review of the food and see how it is since we've never eaten here before. All right, and so here is the menu for Naples. Main menu and then uh, beverage, wines, and cocktails. So as we scroll down a little bit, some appetizers. Hopefully it'll focus pretty well. Moving on to salads, entrees, a lot of it meat-based. Uh, but they, they've got a decent selection of vegetarian stuff. Oh, there we go. I'll pull back a little bit. Uh, so right now, one of the dishes were tossed up between the gnocchi and the pumpkin ravioli. We'll skip over the desserts because Declan doesn't need dessert. Yep. The kids' menu, he's going to get the mac and cheese. Yep. And I'm probably going to get one of the pizzas. Yep, Declan knows. So it's it's a rather big menu. All right, for an appetizer, we got the bruschetta. It's uh, it's got a little bit of parmesan on top, a lot of garlicky tomatoes. I can smell the garlic very strongly through the mask. Uh, on the bread with some 
probably EVOO on it, extra virgin olive oil. All right, so I've got it plated. Here, here it is. It's not gonna focus on it because my face is in the way, but trying to figure out the best way to tackle it. I was thinking about cutting it, but it, it is a firm bread, so I'm probably just gonna have to pick it up and dive in. It's gonna go everywhere, guaranteed. That's really good. It's a really subtle flavor. There's nowhere near the taste of garlic that I smell. So it's possible the garlic could be coming from elsewhere as well. Um, maybe just a hint of garlic in the taste. The, uh, and then I didn't get any of the cheese actually. Uh, and then the bread's nice firm. It's a, it's a really good, I don't know, it looks like it might be a baguette. The tomatoes are nice and chilled. It's not it's not a heated dish, like I think bruschetta normally is, but this is very good. Let's see if we can get some cheese this time. Cheese just adds to it a little bit, and I got some basil on that bite too. Um, definitely really good, I would order this again. I got a little more garlic in that uh, bite as well. This would be really good on like a warm day, as it's, you know, it's cool and it's kind of like a, um, uh, like like a, a chilling dish, if you will. Um, the fact that it's a little cold out, uh, I would probably prefer this warmer, but it's still really good as it is. All right, bruschetta's gone, delicious. Uh, masks back on while we're waiting for our food. Uh, and the food we ended up going with, uh, macaroni for this little guy. Uh, I went ahead and got the pizza fungi, uh, which is, it's a mushroom pizza. And he was talking about how the pizzas, you know, they do the big chunks of mozzarella instead of covering it with the shredded mozzarella and they import the cheese and the uh, tomatoes so I, i'm super excited about it and then actually went with the pumpkin ravioli that's got some brown sugar in it so it's a hint of sweetness um with mostly savory so i'll probably steal a bite of hers but that way so at least i can give it a try as well uh, and see what that tastes like all right so Deckard's up first with his macaroni yeah, that, that looks a little warm. There you could you could try that if you want. Try that little bite. <laughs> and so diving into the pizza now. Looks like um, they've cut it into four slices, so uh, four quarters. It's nice and thin, just like I like it, being from uh, the Northeast. And here goes. That's hands down some of the best pizza I've had in a while. This is some real tasting pizza. Yeah, and I've, uh, I've traveled the world. I've had pizza in many different countries, including Italy and Germany. Germany was actually my favorite. This kind of reminds me of that a little bit, as well as Italy, of course. Um, his macaroni's yummy. The cheese is good, how with the little dollops of cheese on it. The mushrooms are cooked to perfection. Um, the sauce is, is flavorful and plentiful as well. Sometimes they get a little um, dried up in the sauce. And the crust, um, it's got a little crisp on the outside because it's fire roasted. So let me get a little bit of the crust. Okay. Yeah, the uh, yeah the crust is fantastic too. It's, it's nice crispy on the outside and then really soft. Um, on the inside. Oh, I, would, I would absolutely order this again. All right, quick break from the pizza. Gonna try one of the raviolis. Ashley on um, first bite, raving about it. So it got me excited. She said I better take a bite before she eats it all. So um, I wanna try and get a shot of it if I can get it open. Um, actually, there's nothing really to see. It's the exact same color inside as the pasta because it's pumpkin filled. Wow, I don't, I don't, I don't know which direction to go. Um, got the pumpkin immediately. Obviously, it's pumpkin filled. Pumpkin is a strong, you know, unique flavor. The pasta is really good. I can tell, of course, it's it's fresh pasta. Uh, that's what they're telling us is they make their raviolis and gnocchis here on site every day. Just a little bit of brown sugar on the outside uh, with the butter flavor, and it's a good butter too. Wow, like it's so good that I'm probably gonna offer this other half back to Ashley so I don't eat all her food. Um, I'd give her some of my pizza, but she does not eat mushrooms, so. All right, so I hope you liked the video. If so, wait, you, you didn't think we were gonna eat here without dessert, right? Oh, it's here. We get the cheesecake. It looks like, um, I'm gonna guess maybe a caramel sauce, but I'm just guessing. Uh, we've got the whipped cream with it and a, a little leaf, a basil leaf, uh, and then it's a it's a plain cheesecake. So it'll really give us a, the chance to taste the flavors for it. And then three spoons. So let's set the camera back up and we'll try the dessert first. 
nope, that, that's, an, that's some sort of an apple-based um, sauce. I think. It's kind of morphing flavors on me real quick. Now I'm super, my, my palate and my brain are super confused. So let's get a little cheesecake, get a little bit of the sauce, and then a little bit of the whipped cream, and here we go. Oh, you know, it's raspberry, oh, strawberry. Duh. <laughs> that is a good cheesecake. I'm getting a, a little bit of a salt somewhere. It might, it might be sprinkled on it, maybe a little bit, but I definitely got some salt in it. Um, it's, that's amazing. The whipped cream is really good. It, it kind of tastes like it, they made it here. I can't confirm if they did or didn't. Um, I'm the only one here that likes basil, so I'll probably eat the basil leaf. The cheesecake is its not overly firm. It's not too spongy. It's just right with a, with a kind of a softer kind of graham cracker crust on the bottom. Uh, I'm, I'm talking so much so that way they can get their fill because once I go back to this, it's going to be gone probably. So uh, we're going to dig in, finish this up, and get out of here and check out some more downtown Disney. All right, all done in the restaurant, heading over to World of Disney right now. Thank goodness Disneyland upgraded their system over the last year of the closure to accept touchless payment, Apple Pay, because I went to pay and realized my wallet was still in the car from paying for parking. Uh, so I was getting a little nervous. I'd have to run back, asked if they in fact took touchless payment uh, at the restaurant specifically. And he was like, absolutely we do. So that saved the day. So definitely a big thumbs up to Disney for, or for Disneyland specifically for that. So a quick review of the restaurant, since that was kind of the point of this video as well, uh, review the food specifically. The food was delicious. There's nothing I didn't like, even even stole a little bit of Declan's macaroni. So I give him a 10 out of 10. Price wise, you know, it's, it's a nice sit down restaurant. If you've ever been to Disney, you know what Disney prices are like. So it's a $2 sign. It's actually not the most expensive. We spent 100 bucks, it was 103. I tipped about 25%. We're a family of three. Um, plus we got the appetizer in the cheesecake. So it, like a family of four, uh, if everybody got a dessert and they got maybe two appetizers with the meals, you could probably expect to spend 150 or 200 bucks here. Uh, if you're not doing it all the time, you know, it's probably fine. But if you're here on a vacation or something and you want to have a nice night out one of the nights or something, you know, you could do that. Definitely recommend the restaurant. I don't know why it took so long to eat there. Definitely going to do it again. It'd be nice to eat there, you know, before going into an open park or after leaving the open park. But, you know, that that's, you know, in the future to come. As far as Disney stuff, we do have some exciting Disney stuff coming up in the next couple months. That's all I'm going to say, but we'll, we'll see uh, sometime in the, around the middle to the end of March. All right, so that wraps up our little trip to downtown Disney. Try some new delicious food. We went into World of Disney and uh, looked at a few new things they've got and picked up a couple things. All in all, it was a nice little evening with very delicious food. Uh, so again, hope you liked the video. If so, please like and subscribe. Ring the bell below for notifications of all those future videos. As always, be kind and be real and join us on our next experience. So